What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking the Sepulcher Mountain Trail today here near Mammoth in Yellowstone National Park. And this trail starts off um, over by the Mammoth Terrace and the Beaver Ponds Trailhead is what they share it. And it works its way up, 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 all the way to the top of Sepulcher Mountain and then works its way down. And the loop that I chose to do um, and it was wrapped it all the way back around to my car. So anyways, the trail that I took started out at the actual trailhead and it is the Sepulcher Mountain Trail by Mammoth Terrace. So you have the cool, you know, travertine Mammoth Terrace awesomeness and then worked my way up the Beaver Pond Trail. And, um, and that's just basically just in kind of an old stand of trees. And so it's definitely lots of like forest birds and flowers and whatnot. I think you're following Clematis Creek um, all the way up there. And so it's not a suffocating forest. It's nice, you can kind of see into it, which is great. Um, and it's also nice as you're climbing to be in the shade. So um, anyways, eventually you work your way to where um, the trail for Beaver Ponds goes to the right and you stay left and um, just kind of working your way through more forest. And then there's a Clag Claggy Butte Trail that goes off to the left and you just keep going straight. And um, eventually you hop out onto um, this big bowl and it's great because you know the views just get opened up all really nice and I'm just a big fan of views in this bowl. And um, yeah, so just kind of working your way right up in the middle of it. And then it's really cool because you go over the ridge and you get to see kind of this little flat plateau where there's a um, kind of a, a scummy looking pond and then just, um, yeah, just really great forest birds and you know squirrels and whatnot. And um, anyways, from there, it, uh, it goes, it drops into some trees, um, some more, and then you'll eventually go and, you know, every once in a while you get really cool views looking down, which I'm obviously a big fan of. Um, and then you drop out of the trees and pr you're kind of going up in these really big bouldery area, which is just really great because I just like how things just kind of change around here, um, you know, for, and you know, that always happens when you gain a lot of elevation. But then you do these crazy switchbacks up, up this uh, face, and then you jump up right onto this ridge. And I was super excited about this ridge because I thought, yes, I'm gonna get to see views all the way around. But the trail people decided to keep it on the inside of the bowl. So while you can look up at um, Sepulcher Mountain there, which is great and everything, you end up traversing and not getting any views down over to the Gardner Canyon, which was a real letdown. Um, but anyways, um, from there I dropped into the trees and you just kind of alternate between, you know, this forest and then um, some little meadows and then forest again. And then um, eventually, um, it, it gets into really thick forest as it finally finds the ridge. And if you do decide to do this, you might wanna just walk that ridge line, just kind of go off the map. I stayed on the trail because I, you know, I'm trying to figure out what this thing actually looks like if you do stick to the trail. Um, but I think if you stick to the ridge line, you can come down right over here to this fancy little um, trail. Anyways, but that joins back up and you walk right along the top of this kind of um, steep ridge, but it's all treed so you can't see anything. And then, um, and then finally it starts to break open and that's when you get really cool views to the north and you're looking down on the town of Gardner, Montana. And then, you know, it does a pretty dang good job from here on out of giving you views. So you break into some trees and then all of a sudden you'll open way back up again to some super awesome um, views. And you get to see what I believe is why they call it sepulcher, which is like a tomb. And so you get to see this big old gnarly rock. And um, anyways, yeah, you just follow this really jagged steep cliff um, all the way right up to the top. And then you come to a junction and to the left is the summit of the actual mountain, but to the right, is the overlook which it has the um sepulcher so definitely take the right and that's where i had lunch and it was amazing just kind of sitting out there i had um you know hawks and eagles flying below me and it was just super great and just these sheer cliffs are fantastic and it's just this really jagged jagged rock and yeah very very cool views forever yellowstone river garden river you name it it's just it's awesome and then um so anyway so i turned back around and started working my way up and my quibble number two is that the trail goes right below the summit and there's no little scramble trail up there so i scrambled up anyway and got to the official summit and you know really really cool views of electric peak are up there um so definitely think that you know you should check those out and you know great photos um 
And then from there, you kind of duck in and out of some trees um, with, you know, a couple of little views of, med of you know, of these um, wide open spaces. And then it gets really closed in and then it opens up again until finally, boom, you are out onto this amazing plateau. And it's just this grassy wonderland. And I am a huge fan of this plateau. I just, this kind of reminds me of doing Specimen Ridge, just this awesome um, plateaus. And I noticed that there were some little black dots below me. Turns out there were seven elk, and I think they were all bulls. They looked like they were all younger bulls. Um, but yeah, they popped right out there. And so as I was doing these switchbacks all the way down, um, yeah, just amazing views, just panorama goodness, as I like to say. And then um, also, if you ever do stuff like this, make sure you're always turning around, or if you're going up it, this is what it'll look like. Um, but just super beautiful sagebrush, grasslands, um, makes me all happy inside. And um, anyways, eventually I got closer and closer and the elk kind of disappeared right over that little rise there. And then finally got one last look of, of that big, big long ridge and then dropped into the trees for a little bit and worked my way down. And what was funny is I worked my way underneath um, or right alongside the elk. So I kind of ended up accidentally sneaking up on them and I got to see a couple of the spike bulls which means that they were fawns last year, and now this is their first year being bulls. But anyways, from there, dropped down along Glen Creek and joined up with a trail that goes to Sportsman Lake and Cache Lake, and then continued to work my way all the way out until it got into the big, big open meadows um, with the Fawn Pass Trail and whatnot. And then I took a left um, to follow the power lines. It's at a ski trail that goes in the backside of Terrace Mountain. And Terrace Mountain is the one that has the cool voodoos when you're driving up to Golden Gate. So I'm throwing out a bunch of names. So if you've ever driven through this place, you'll know what where I'm at. But I'm on the backside of Terrace Mountain. And um, yeah, just really cool little, uh, it's definitely more modest on that side. And just kind of cruise through some grasslands with some power lines. And then eventually started dropping in. You can definitely see there's a ski trail because of the iconage that happens. And then uh, drop down into some densely forested area. And that's uh, kind of where I'm at right now, just cruising here. Then I'll drop down onto the Pinion Terrace, which is just above the Mammoth Terrace Drive. And it's just a really cool plateau with lots of geothermal features that are kind of here. and that not a lot of people get to see. So anyways, from that, then I'll go ahead and drop down to the main Mammoth Terrace with all of its crazy geothermal features and travertine and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some awesome footage of that. This is where they have a bunch of the, you can actually drive your car along this and I'll be hiking along it. But yeah, just super great. Um, I cover this, a lot of this stuff in my Mammoth Terrace blog, which I, um, we'll post here and then um, there will be a link in the blog below. But yeah, just man, just all this really cool travertine and um, steaming goodness. It's uh, crazy geologic, <laughs> just the madness that you get with Yellowstone. And then back to my car, I'm at the Beaver Ponds, Sepulcher Mountain um, Trailhead by over by Mammoth Terrace. So I'm Jake with Hike 734 hiking the Sepulcher Mountain Trail in Yellowstone National Park. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.